Tom here from Lauren Systems, and we're going to talk about how to split tunnel a VPN and push very specific routes so you can manage resources and balance them. This is kind of a unique edge case, but I have some clients that specifically need this here in March of 2020. So I thought it was a good time to do this quick video because it's a little bit easier to do once you know where to put the settings. All right. If you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire share a project, Click the Hires button up at the top and fill out the form. If you're looking to help the channel out in other ways, there are deals and discounts below for our, with our affiliate links that get you discounts on services and products that we talk about on this channel. So OpenVPN. I just did a video on this and I'll leave a link to it. So how to get OpenVPN set up on PFSense. What we're going to do is we have my office network. We have this Windows demo computer we're going to do this on. Green represents the office IP address going out to the public internet. Red represents my home IP address. And we're actually going to use my own, yes, my home at NetGate SG1100 for this demonstration. So I will show you my home IP address, not my office one, just if anyone's wondering. And the goal of this is, let's say we have all the resources we want to redirect over the network. Now, when you have a VPN, and I talked about this in the last video, and you want to redirect all resources, so when this Windows computer gets online, it goes over here and it assumes the public IP address because it tunnels all the traffic through uh, the office network, through the internet, over to here. And then once it's over there, all it assumes the public IP address of this device. The downside of this, if you have a finite amount of resources, like you have an SG1100, there's only so much speed on the VPN, or you have a limited amount of bandwidth, everything that this particular computer does is being tunneled back over the network. That means not only the resources that you have access to, such as this NAS that's over at my house, you also are tunneling 100% of the traffic. Now, maybe you want that because you have very specific websites that you've tied to your public IP address for authentication, so you can't have them just coming in from any random network. The downside of that is every tab that comes open, Netflix, YouTube, or whatever in their browser or whatever network resources they're using that you've tunneled across the network are now going to bottleneck over here if you have too many users and not enough resources. So how do you split it? How would you say, I want to give access to local resources on my network and a very specific set of websites? That's what this tutorial is for. So you'll be able to take this computer and it's going to be able to go out and if it goes to Netflix or YouTube, it's going to use the main network it's on, the office network here. If it goes out to the website, ifconfig.co, it's going to be very specifically using my home IP address for that. And this is split tunneling. So you're taking the tunnel and splitting it up and pushing routes. So you're doing a custom route here. So the red represents home IP, green there. And let's go ahead and take a look at the settings for this. So first, we're going to go here. The VPN is not connected. This is my public IP address that I have blurred out for my office because that's where I'm actually located and recording this video. So I have config.co is showing my public IP address and I have config.me is showing my public IP address for my office. Both of these are showing the same thing. So we want to take these IP addresses and we're going to take specifically I have config.co and we want to show how I can redirect that to a different IP address by splitting the tunnel and splitting the route. So first things first, ping ifconfig.co. I need to know the IP address of it. So it's 104.28.19.94. Go over here. And this is my home OpenVPN setup. I have my SG1100 all configured, OpenVPN working. And I don't. I do not want this checked. So force all client generated IB4 traffic through the tunnel. No, we only want to have local resources. So I only have one single network set up that I want pushed. It's the 192.168 network, and it'll give me access to that NAS that's over there. But we also want this. There's that IP address again. So in our custom options, we push route 104.28.18.94.255.255.255 colon enter. Now let's say we had more than one of these. You could do it like this and you could put different IP addresses and list them all out. Maybe you have more than one, but in this demo here, we're just going to show one, but you separate them with a colon and a new line, and these will push these routes back across. So this is going to push anytime the system sees that IP address, it says, oh, redirect that over the tunnel and then go out the network. So this is already set up and saved in here. Uh, that's the only thing that's really different from a normal setup other than making sure you're not forcing all client generated IPv4 traffic. If you're doing that, this is moot point because you're already redirecting everything through there. Back over here. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up the VPN and do a connect.
and it's connected. So first things first, route print. And what route print does is list all the routes that have been pushed to this computer. And right here's the route that we added very specifically. This means if you see this IP address telling the computer, then here is the gateway link for that particular IP address. So if we go to 104.18.94, we see that IP address, here's the route link, push it out this gateway to this interface. And that will now redirect that particular traffic, but we still have all of our normal interface gateways, 10.2, this is local to the network. So anything that's not, that goes up where it should be. And then down further, we have the routes here that match for local resources. So this is the 192.168 network because the IP address of this particular computer is 10.2.15. So let's go with those websites and refresh them. Now this website is showing my IP address form home that I did leave exposed here. So now you can see that this one, this site shows this IP address. Now I'm going to blur this one out, refresh the page shows my office IP address. So now you kind of get the idea, just that one, all I had to do is push that one route. I didn't have to reconfigure the VPN or anything like that because it's already configured. The routes get pushed, not as part of the config file that's already on the users, but as a route push setting. So once this connects, it's the settings that get pushed into the routing table in there. The way you confirm they're in there is just like I showed here, just do a route print, and you can see if those are actually getting carried over to the client. If they're not for some reason, you'll have to do some further investigation, but it does require, by the way, making sure that OpenVPN is set up properly and worked in the first place, if, if that didn't seem obvious, but it's also making sure that these routes are getting in, which sometimes means the OpenVPN does have to have a certain level of admin privileges to work at all to push these routes over. So hopefully this helps. If you're dealing with a split tunnel and dealing with a load issue like this, where you wanna have only certain resources go across the network. That way you can better allocate and manage those resources versus having all the traffic. I mean, ideally, if you're looking for security and you're at a coffee house, yes, sending all the traffic across is great across the tunnel. So it's not being potentially looked at in anywhere in between. But in times of limited resources, you want to only necessarily redirect certain things over there because uh, it'll make your life a lot easier and share that bandwidth a lot better. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.